what's really amazing is that uh, there are a lot of these viruses in your genome. Scientists have identified about 100,000 elements in your genome that came from viruses. Now, to put that in perspective, um, we all have 20,000 protein coding genes. That takes up about 1.2% of our genome. Viruses, these things, take up about 8 or 9%. So you could say you're about six times more virus than you are human, <laughs> if you're so inclined. So, so we're, we're dealing with, with a time scale that, uh, that, that we carry in our own bodies that is really, you start to get into unimaginably old periods of time. I mean, I've just marked an era where the Grand Canyon formed. And you have viruses that are older than that in your own genome. Um, this, is a, this is a deeply weird con concept. I mean, that to think of our human genome having been gradually eroded, like the Grand Canyon, for millions of years by viruses. Um, now, our genomes didn't, you know, go willingly. Uh, we actually have lots of genes that seem to be specifically uh, adapted for fighting off these viruses as they try to enter the genome and then as they try to replicate. Um, we try to put a stop to this because it can be very disruptive. I mean, if a, if a virus plops in and, does, and happens to plug itself where there's a really essential gene, there can be trouble. Um, these, a lot of retroviruses are associated with cancer. So evolution has favored defenses against these things. But that's not to say that these viruses haven't ended up being useful. Actually, mutations can essentially borrow some of the genes from viruses and use them to benefit us. Uh, and my favorite example, and really the most startling one, uh, is one that's involved with pregnancy. So, uh, in, order to, um, in, in order for an a, uh, embryo, a, a mammal embryo to develop, I should say a placental mammal embryo, um, it has to form a placenta which attaches to the uterus. And in many groups of mammals, what happens then is that there is a layer that forms here, these sort of kind of purplish cells here. That's a layer that allows the embryo to draw in nutrients from the mother and, and to attach to the, to the uterine wall. And it's very distinctive because it's formed by cells, but then the walls between the cells break down. And so it's just sort of a, a big open kind of layer of, of cytoplasm, cell juice, basically. There's a protein that makes that happen. If you knock the gene out from mice, um, they cannot reproduce. It, 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 is, it is fatal to an embryo not to be able to form that layer with that protein. That protein comes from a virus. Actually, this, this has happened repeatedly in evolution. Different mammal lineages have actually borrowed the similar uh, viral genes to make that layer. So if it wasn't for viruses, none of us would have even been born.